Good, happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, gusty winds bring down trees and power lines. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Andy Hirschberger company that stays true to small company values while cultivating success at every level of our organization. Data Ed is now hiring machine operators, assemblers, solderers, quality engineers, machinists, and maintenance mechanics in our Salem, New Hampshire facilities. If you're skilled and ready to start your career, Data Ed is willing to invest in you. To apply, visit dataed.com or text the word data to 77,000. sounded like lightning, just a huge bang. Lisa Sawyer says her teenage son was taking a shower upstairs when this tree limb came crashing through the ceiling. It was part of a huge pine that snapped and fell on the roof of their home in Windham. The ceiling came down in our dining room and we had seen the tree that came down and ran upstairs and all the whole side of the house was just, every room was taken out. Nobody was hurt, but the damage was pretty extensive. It was the same story in Nashua, where a tree hit a house on Fenwick Street. High winds knocked over trees and snapped limbs, causing damage in several communities. This is what happened in Pelham, when a pine branch took out a power line and closed part of Dutton Street. What the hell's going to happen to me? <laughs> 84-year-old Carolina Lavassier was sitting in her kitchen with her friend Celeste Coolis when they heard a terrible sound. And we were sitting there talking and all of a sudden, boom! And I looked up and here I had my tree in my sunroom. She has a metal roof, so it was a big crash and the wind was howling, so we were shocked. We were like, oh my God, look what happened. Both women are just happy they're okay, as is Lisa Sawyer. I'm still in shock, really. It only happened a little while ago, so I just want everybody to be aware and look at your trees, and we're very blessed, very blessed today. The cleanup work is already underway, and everyone that we spoke with today said that they are prepared to fix what was damaged. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Teen driver plummages 40 feet down embankment, lands on beach. Let's take a listen to this video from WCBB. What's up, I'm John Pontrello. Awesome, man, we're partners. Pretty cool. Yeah, being all suited up for battle, but looking like UPS drivers, super cool. Go brown, right? We gotta find the five dirty cops. We need to focus. Are you kidding me right now? I'm just like kind of powerless when it comes to yoga pants. Get you out of this parking lot. You have a visible erection. You've got a legitimate lead. Oh, we have a suspect's head. That's a victory. Nasty. I was trying just to damn nasty. Chips. Rated R. March 24th. This is how it ended, with a teenage driver plummeting 45 feet down an embankment. Police say it started when an officer spotted a gray Kia speeding across the Nahant Causeway. The officer attempted to stop it. It stopped the vehicle. It picked up speed and headed up here towards East Point. The chief says it's not clear when police stopped the pursuit, but officers found the car a short time later on its roof on the beach. The driver apparently had wound up losing control on 40 Steps Road took out a wire guardrail before tumbling down the steep hill. He's a 19-year-old male, and he's in stable condition. He's, uh, he's uh, talking, he's alert. Um, so at this time, that's, that's a good sign for us. The speed limit here is about 35 miles an hour. Police estimate the young driver was doing double that. It is dangerous. It's terrible. You know, you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Um, we're not in that business. No name yet on the young victim. He is at Mass General at this hour. He is expected to survive. State police are assisting in this investigation. Okay, and there you go on 
that report. Bitter Cold returns, wind chill advisories issued for weekend. The National Weather Service has issued a wind chill advisory from midnight to Friday to 9 a.m. Sunday for Central, Summerst, Northern Franklin, Northern Oxford counties in Maine, and Coas County in New Hampshire ahead of a very cold and windy conditions. Wind chills as low as 28 below zero are expected with temperatures 9 below to zero and wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour in the advisory area. While not as cold all of southern and central Maine will see bitter cold in with temperatures slightly above zero Saturday and Sunday. The combination of cold and wind will produce dangerous wind chills late tonight through Saturday night. Cold and windy conditions could lead to frostbite and hyperthermia. Even in weak market, Rachel buys Trump's profit for many Singapore landlords. In Singapore, many landlords prefer leaving their units empty to renting to certain ethnic groups. Hundreds of Al-Qaeda contacts found in Yemen raid. Some of valuable intelligence gland in Navy SEAL raid in Yemen on January 28th included hundreds of contacts for Al-Qaeda in the Iberian Peninsula in region and the West, a U.S. official told ABC News today. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.